Most people think belly fat is just that soft layer you can pinch around your waist. But deep inside your abdomen, there's another kind of fat that doesn't jiggle and it's far more dangerous. It wraps around your internal organs, silently choking them from within. This hidden layer is called visceral fat and it could be damaging your health without you even knowing it. While subcutaneous fat is more visible, visceral fat operates quietly, increasing your risk of heart disease, insulin resistance, fatty liver, and even certain cancers. What's alarming is that you could look perfectly slim on the outside and still carry dangerous levels of this internal fat. And by the time symptoms appear, the damage may already be underway. But here's the hope. Visceral fat isn't a life sentence. It responds quickly when you make the right lifestyle changes. Research shows it's actually one of the first fat types your body taps into when conditions are favorable. In this video, we'll show you exactly how to trigger that process in just 30 days. No crash diets, no miracle pills, just practical science-based steps that work with your biology. We're going to break down what foods feed visceral fat and which ones help melt it away. You'll see how something as simple as adjusting your meal timing can supercharge your fat burning even while you sleep. And you'll learn how short targeted exercises can outperform hours of traditional workouts. But that's not all. We'll also explore how stress and sleep, yes, your daily mental state might be doing more harm to your waistline than the food you eat. This isn't another trendy challenge. It's a real sustainable method to target fat. You can't see, but that could be silently threatening your health. You'll discover why visceral fat accelerates aging, disrupts hormones, and how your everyday choices either build it up or burn it down. Every minute of this video adds a piece to the puzzle. So don't skip ahead. The complete 30 day game plan is coming and skipping even one piece could delay your results. If you've ever struggled to lose belly fat with no success, what you're about to learn might explain why. Once you understand how visceral fat behaves, everything changes. This goes beyond aesthetics. It's about how you feel, how clearly you think, and how resilient your body becomes against disease. So get ready. You're about to see fat loss in a completely new light. Welcome to our channel, where we break down the latest in health science into clear, simple steps that actually work. If you're ready to take control of your body and finally see progress that lasts, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Your 30 day transformation starts now. Not all belly fat is created equal and understanding the difference is the first step in defeating it. What most people notice is subcutaneous fat, the soft layer just under your skin that you can grab around your waist, arms or thighs. While it might affect appearance, small amounts of this fat aren't particularly harmful. In fact, it serves useful functions like cushioning, insulating and even storing emergency energy. But it's the deeper layer of visceral fat that's the real concern. You can't see it and you can't pinch it. It wraps tightly around your liver stomach, pancreas, and intestines, forming a dense toxic blanket beneath the abdominal wall. Unlike surface fat, visceral fat doesn't just sit there, it acts more like a rogue organ. It continuously releases inflammatory chemicals known as cytokines that interfere with normal body functions. These signals promote inflammation, raise blood sugar, and drive insulin resistance, setting the stage for type 2 diabetes and more. It also dumps fatty acids directly into your liver, elevating cholesterol and disrupting your metabolism. That's why doctors often refer to it as active fat, because it's not idle, it's doing damage every single day. Doctors call visceral fat active for a reason. It's constantly interfering with your health behind the scenes. Unlike subcutaneous fat, which is more of a passive energy store, visceral fat sends out chemical messengers that throw your system out of balance. It disrupts hormone levels, increases inflammation, and affects how your body processes food. As a result, even people who eat well and exercise regularly may struggle with belly fat if this internal layer remains. 
That's because this fat isn't just sitting quietly, it's working against your metabolism day and night. One of the most alarming things about visceral fat is how invisible it can be. You might look lean in the mirror, wear the same clothes you've always worn, and still carry high levels of it deep in your abdomen. It doesn't show up in obvious ways like subcutaneous fat. That's why some people with a normal body mass index still face serious health issues. Their internal fat stores have grown silently, triggering what doctors call metabolic syndrome, a cluster of conditions including high blood pressure, high blood sugar, and abnormal cholesterol levels. This is why targeting visceral fat should be a priority, because reducing it doesn't just trim your waistline, it transforms your entire body. As it decreases, your blood sugar levels stabilize, energy increases, and your organs start functioning more efficiently. Your heart doesn't have to work as hard, inflammation subsides, and your risk for chronic illnesses drops significantly. It's not just about how you look, it's about reclaiming control over how your body works from the inside out. But visceral fat is also stubborn. Your body holds on to it for survival. Historically, deep abdominal fat served as an emergency energy reserve in times of famine or danger. Today, that survival mechanism works against us. When you try to lose weight, your body often pulls energy from quicker sources, like carbohydrates or the fat under your skin. Visceral fat stays protected, making it harder to lose through diet alone. Hormones play a big role in this resistance. Cortisol, your body's main stress hormone, is a major culprit. When cortisol levels stay elevated due to constant stress or lack of sleep, your body holds on to deep fat around your organs as a defense mechanism. Gender also plays a role. Men naturally have higher testosterone levels, which help keep visceral fat lower. But as testosterone levels drop with age, fat starts accumulating around the belly. For women, Estrogen helps protect against visceral fat buildup until menopause. When estrogen declines, women become more prone to developing this hidden fat, especially around the midsection. These hormonal changes explain why people can gain belly fat even if their habits haven't changed dramatically. And then there's the myth that doing ab exercises like crunches will get rid of belly fat. The truth? You can't spot reduce fat from one specific area. It's one of the most persistent fitness myths out there. Just because you work a certain muscle group doesn't mean fat will melt from that spot. Fat loss is a systemic process. The body decides where to burn fat based on overall metabolic changes, not which muscles you use. So while you might strengthen your core through ab workouts, the layer of visceral fat sitting behind your abdominal wall remains unaffected unless you address it at the metabolic level. To get real results, you need to focus on improving your overall metabolism. And the good news is, visceral fat does respond well to the right combination of actions. When you eat strategically, move consistently, and manage your stress and sleep, your body begins to let go of stored fat, including the stubborn kind. It's not about doing more, it's about doing the right things. The next section will walk you through exactly what those actions are and how to put them together into a 30-day strategy that actually works. Even though visceral fat is stubborn, it can be reduced more effectively than you might think when the right conditions are in place. It all comes down to aligning nutrition, exercise, and recovery with how your body naturally works. First, let's talk food. A diet focused on whole, unprocessed ingredients helps your system shift away from fat storage mode. Lean proteins, healthy fats, and high-fiber carbs stabilize blood sugar and reduce inflammation, both crucial steps for unlocking deep fat loss. Think meals centered on vegetables, legumes, nuts, seeds, olive oil, and fatty fish like salmon. These foods nourish your body without triggering insulin spikes that encourage belly fat storage. Fiber is especially important. It slows digestion, helps you feel full longer, and prevents sudden blood sugar fluctuations that lead to cravings. High fiber foods like oats, lentils, broccoli, and berries 
make it easier for your body to maintain a stable metabolism. Processed foods, refined sugars and trans fats do the opposite. They inflame your system, disrupt hormones and make it easier for visceral fat to accumulate even if you're eating fewer calories. That's why quality matters as much as quantity. Next is movement. Not all exercise is equally effective when it comes to burning visceral fat. Studies show that high intensity interval training, short bursts of effort followed by recovery periods outperforms long, slow cardio for targeting deep fat. This type of workout activates fat burning hormones like adrenaline and noradrenaline, which help release stored fat, especially around your abdomen. It also keeps your metabolism elevated for hours after you're done exercising. But strength training is just as important. Building muscle increases your resting metabolic rate, meaning you burn more calories even while doing nothing. The more muscle you have, the more energy your body needs to maintain it. That translates into faster fat loss over time. You don't need to lift heavy weights or spend hours in the gym. Simple resistance workouts using your body weight or light dumbbells a few times a week can make a big difference. And don't overlook daily movement. Walking after meals, standing more often, or taking the stairs adds to your overall calorie burn and keeps your metabolism active. These small actions compound over time and support your larger goals. But exercise is only part of the equation. Without recovery, fat loss slows dramatically. That's why sleep and stress management form the third essential pillar. Poor sleep disrupts hormones that regulate hunger and fat storage, especially leptin and ghrelin. When you sleep less than seven hours, your body starts producing more cortisol, pushing it into fat preserving mode. The same thing happens with chronic stress. Your system reads stress as a threat and responds by holding on to energy, particularly around your organs. Sleep is when your body repairs itself. It's when fat burning hormones rise and inflammation goes down. That's why improving sleep quality by setting a consistent bedtime, limiting screen time and keeping your room dark and quiet can directly impact how much fat your body releases. Managing stress through simple practices like deep breathing, walking in nature, or even taking five quiet minutes during the day can significantly lower cortisol levels. When these three systems, nutrition, movement, and recovery are working in harmony, something powerful happens. Your body shifts from storing fat to burning it, especially the hidden kind deep in your belly. People who align these elements often notice changes in their waistline before the scale moves much. That's because their internal fat stores are breaking down first quietly but steadily. In the next section, we'll explore the fourth and fifth pillars of visceral fat loss timing and supplementation and how they tie everything together into a practical daily rhythm your body can stick to. To complete the picture, let's look at two often overlooked yet powerful factors in reducing visceral fat. How you time your meals and the role of smart supplementation. The fourth pillar meal timing is about more than just what you eat. It's about when and how often you eat. Most people graze all day without realizing the effect that constant eating has on their insulin levels. Every time you eat, your body produces insulin, a hormone that helps process sugar and store energy. But if insulin remains elevated too often, your body never gets the chance to tap into stored fat for fuel. Spacing your meals and allowing time between eating windows helps restore balance. Some people use intermittent fasting, eating all their meals within a certain time frame, like an eight hour window to encourage the body to burn fat more efficiently. This approach isn't about starving yourself. It's about giving your system the rest it needs to stabilize blood sugar and lower insulin long enough for fat burning to kick in. Even if fasting isn't your thing, avoiding late night snacking can still make a big impact. Your metabolism slows at night and food eaten close to bedtime is more likely to be stored than used. Try front loading your calories earlier in the day when your metabolism is more active. Eating a balanced breakfast and lunch, then having a lighter dinner a few hours before sleep 
helps align your meals with your body's natural rhythm. It's a small adjustment that can unlock deeper fat burning over time, especially in the stubborn visceral zone. Now, let's talk about the fifth pillar. Supplementation, but with caution. Many people fall into the trap of relying on fat burning pills or detox teas, hoping for a shortcut. The truth is, no supplement can replace solid habits. However, certain natural compounds may support your efforts when used wisely. Green tea extract, for example, has been shown to support metabolism slightly thanks to compounds called catechins. Roselle powder, cinnamon, or apple cider vinegar may help with blood sugar control in some individuals. But they, they are just that, support tools. Supplements should never be your foundation. Think of them like bonus points on top of a strong diet, exercise, and recovery plan. And before starting any supplement, especially if you have health conditions or take medications, always check with a healthcare provider. Your body is a system, and every piece of that system needs to work together for long-term success. Now that we've covered all five pillars, nutrition, movement, recovery, timing, and smart supplementation, how do you put them into practice over 30 days? It starts with structure. Week one is all about resetting your foundation. That means clearing out the foods that quietly contribute to visceral fat. Sugary snacks, highly processed meals, refined oils, and empty late night calories. Replace them with real food, whole grains, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats. This transition helps your body lower inflammation and begin stabilizing insulin levels. During this first week, focus on movement, but don't overdo it. Gentle daily walks, mobility exercises, or short beginner strength routines are enough to wake up your metabolism without overwhelming your system. At the same time, it's the perfect opportunity to fix your sleep habits. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends. Dim the lights early, avoid screens before bed, and let your body settle into a consistent rhythm. This alone will help regulate cortisol and improve how your body handles fat storage. Think of week one as a clean slate. You're not trying to push your limits, you're setting the stage for everything that follows. And what comes next is where the real momentum begins. As you enter week two, the goal shifts from resetting to building momentum. Your body has already started adapting to a cleaner diet and more consistent sleep. Now it's time to increase the intensity gently but with purpose. Begin incorporating structured workouts like moderate cardio sessions, short intervals, or basic strength training routines. These don't need to be complex. A 20-minute circuit using your body weight combined with brisk walking or cycling is enough to push your metabolism forward. Your system is waking up, becoming more efficient, and ready to burn energy at a deeper level. This is also the week to take sleep and stress management seriously. Your bedtime routine isn't just about rest, it's part of your fat burning strategy. Eliminate screens an hour before bed, lower the lights, and allow your body to ease into sleep. Practicing a few minutes of deep breathing or stretching before bed lowers cortisol and supports hormone balance. When stress goes down, your body receives the message that it's safe to release fat, not store it. These may seem like small changes, but together, they create powerful internal shifts that support real lasting results. By week three, your metabolism is more responsive, you may notice your energy level stabilizing and your cravings decreasing. This is the perfect time to step things up. Mix high intensity interval training with strength sessions to create a powerful fat burning combo. For example, you might do 30 seconds of jumping jacks followed by 30 seconds of rest repeat it for 15 minutes, then 